All right, so here is what the recent and heavily publicized Drake and Kendrick Lamar battle that just happened will teach you about how you show up in the world. You may have missed it, but something extraordinary happened in the first week of May. And it was an epic and unprecedented rap battle between Drake and Kendrick Lamar. And I say unprecedented because the songs that these rappers release going at each other broke all time streaming records. Not like us, a song which calls out Drake and his camp for being pedophiles and Drake for being a colonizer against black culture shattered the Spotify record with over 6.5 million listens in a day. And a week after the feud between these Grammy award winning artists, five of the nine diss tracks which were going at each other were in the top 12 on Apple Music charts. And this really was musical history that unfolded in front of us. And if you miss it, that's okay. Well, long story short, Drake was overmatched and unprepared for how witty, calculated, and talented Kendrick Lamar was. And for all intents and purposes, if it was anyone else, Drake may have had the upper hand, but Kendrick Lamar is an elite writer as he is a rapper. So what does this pop culture mumbo jumbo have anything to do with you if you don't even listen to hip hop? Well, it actually matters a lot and it means a lot. And it says a lot about what is happening in the world. Now bear with me, I'm gonna explain this. Shit is beginning to reveal itself. This is the year of dirty laundry. How does astrology say? It's now the age of Aquarius, right? The astrological era believed to bring more increase in spirituality and harmony around the earth. And many believe that this is where celebrity idolization and corrupt forms of power begin to not fit the mold anymore. And they say that this is the age of truth. And I have to agree. But here's what the recent Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef can show you about yourself. This highly public feud was about authenticity and facade. You see, the universe is always self-correcting itself towards health. It will always self-correct itself towards alignment. The problem is the more out of alignment you are with most authentic expression of who you are, the more that this correction is painful as it is humbling, if we listen. What has happened for Drake was that he got humbled. Fortunately and unfortunately, it came in the form of Kendrick Lamar, who was a world-class writer and rapper. And Kendrick called out all of the ways which Drake was out of integrity and did it in the most poetic, sometimes blatant, sometimes Easter eggy subliminal ways ever. And this is no match for Drake. His attempts were one dimensional at best and Drake was humbled. Why? Because Kendrick Lamar called him out for being who he is not. And it is true. Drake became someone he is not a while ago. I always wondered to myself, I used to love Drake's music. 2008, 2009, 10, 11, I was bumping him everywhere. And then it just stopped. And this whole thing made me realize it's because he began to embody someone he is not. And for most of y'all, it doesn't matter. So long as he could rap and dance to it, it's fine. But for some people like me, and I believe more and more of you, these deviations from authenticity are more easily sensed. And Drake, like many of us, has lived in an identity that gets us the most of something that we want, whether it's attention, validation, fame, sex, money, whatever it is. But by virtue of latching onto this identity, we've abandoned who we are. As someone who prioritizes clean, pure, and high quality ingredients in my life, y'all know I'm super picky about supplements I take, especially when it comes to something as important as omega-3 fatty acids. Not all omegas are created equal. How many times I gotta say it, right? From the ocean being polluted to even the fish we eat, being particular about my source of omega-3 supplements is very, very important to me, and I take omegas every Every day. That's where Peori comes in. Peori's O3 Ultra Pure Fish Oil is my go-to for getting a premium, potent dose of EPA and DHA Omega-3. What I love about Peori is their commitment to purity, potency, and transparency. Each batch of their products is tested by third-party labs against over 200 different contaminants, so I know I'm getting incredibly clean and fresh fish oil. In fact, Peori's O3 is certified by the Clean Label Project and has five out of five stars from the IFOS, that is the International Fish Oil Standards Organization for guess what, purity and freshness, the cleanest of the clean. Every single bottle of Puri's O3 comes with a QR code that you can scan to see the specific test results for that batch. I mean, how often do you see that level of transparency from a supplement company? It gives me a peace of mind knowing exactly what I'm putting into my body. Personally, I take Puri's O3 every single day I find that 2,000 milligrams of long chain omega-3 really supports my heart, brain, my eyes. And with all the third-party testing, I don't have to worry about any nasty fish burps that I know a lot of you have. 
and rancidity issues that can come up with lower quality fish oils. If you're looking to add a premium, pure, and potent omega-3 supplement to your routine, I can't recommend Puri's O3 enough. It's become an essential part of my daily health regimen, and I think you'll love it too. Puri is offering 20% off of their O3 Ultra Pure Fish Oil and their other fantastic products to Heal Thyself listener, you. That is 20% off even on top of the already discounted subscription price. Just go to puri.com slash DRG and use the code DRG for 20% off the already discounted subscription prices. That is P-U-O-R-I dot com slash DRG and use the code DRG. A lot of coffee drinkers out there. A lot of you love coffee. A lot of you ain't drinking a quality coffee. Are you ready to elevate your coffee game and experience a brew that's not only delicious, but also health focused? I'm going to introduce you to Purity Coffee. It's been one of the top coffees in every coffee review I've ever done, because it still is, it's always been. The ultimate choice for coffee lovers who prioritize taste and well-being is purity. I'm gonna tell you why purity stands out from the crowd. Every step in their process is rooted in health-focused principles, backed by solid scientific research and rigorous testing. They start by sourcing the finest specialty-grade organic Arabica beans, and then move to a small batch roasting, ensuring that each cup meets the highest standards of quality. But what really sets purity apart is their dedication to purity and safety. Their beans undergo third-party testing to ensure they're free of pesticides, toxins, and harmful mycotoxins. Yes, mold in coffee is an issue. All these substances that can be found in something you're drinking every single day can cause issues in your liver, your kidney, digestive issues, brain fog, and fatigue, right? You, you want the opposite of that, especially because coffee is so high in antioxidants. So many studies have shown that coffee is healthy for the heart, for the brain. Purity Coffee also has some of the highest antioxidant capacity out there. That means you're getting a powerful dose of health-boosting compounds with every sip. So now you've got the cleanest coffee, and now you got one of the highest antioxidant coffees out there. That's medicinal coffee. But it's not just about what's in the cup. It's also with how it's produced. Purity Coffee is grown in regenerative organic farms that prioritize soil health, animal welfare, and community well-being. So now you got ethics right there. And with certifications like USDA Organic, Rainforest Alliance, and Smithsonian Bird Friendly, you can trust that purity is not only good for you, but also good for the planet. They got a range of roasts from their light medium roast to sweet fruity notes in their dark roast that have rich and bold tastes. And for those of you, like me, who don't drink caffeine, because it makes you go kooky like me, then they also have a calm decaf medium roast, which is amazing. That's the one I drink. Made from naturally decaffeinated Swiss water beans, it's the best tasting organic decaf on the market. So if you're ready to experience pure pleasure of Purity Coffee, visit puritycoffee.com and use the code DRG for 30% off of your first purchase. That is P-U-R-I-T-Y-C-O-F-F-E-E dot com and use the code DRG for 30% off. Drake abandoned who he was in 2011. And what we are seeing now is the eruption of the consequence of suppressing that for so long. But I'm positive that over the years, Drake, like many of us, have had universal corrections presenting themselves on a smaller scale over and over, less dramatic over and over. And like Drake, many of us do not and will not listen. So guess what? It keeps happening over and over until that version of us gets the things that we truly need to experience. And we're so caught up in this identity that is getting us the things that we think we want without remembering what we truly want is just to feel good in our bodies, to finally feel relaxed and to finally embody who we are, to claim who we are and to truly express that. And so the universe keeps on presenting those things over and over, corrections to humble us, and it gets louder and it gets more dramatic. And you know what's ironic? We victimize ourselves to these humbling opportunities over and over, never realizing that it's us who's creating this experience. And we'll continuously experience these dramas in our lives until we stop abandoning ourselves. And I personally hope that Drake takes some time to reassess who he is and how he shows up and to embody more of who he is versus the person he thinks he should be. Is that gonna happen? Probably not. But look at his eyes, truly. Look at Drake's eyes. Read his energy. What do you see? But do me a favor, Google a picture of Drake or a video of Drake and tune into him. Tune into his eyes, look at them, tune into his energy, feel into it. Get quiet and tell me what you see. What you will see is a scared and lost boy who is desperately looking to be accepted. And the irony is that Drake brought that into light in the most dramatic way for him. This is the year of integrity. We all have shit. No one is a patron saint. 
But we have to come back to who we are, the integrity of who we are. Because if we don't, the universe will continuously shake it up over and over and over in the most dramatic ways until we listen. The one who really came out winning was J. Cole. He pulled himself out of this rap battle way before any of this happened. Because why? He listened to the integrity of who he is. And he got a lot of crap for it from a lot of people saying that, no, he should have stayed in there and he should have battled against Kendrick Lamar. But the truth of the matter is, is he took a moment and he went into his body and he went into his spirit and he went into what truly is real for him. And he said, no, this isn't in alignment for me. And he came out winning. The truth of the matter is, is everyone, it's time. We're getting our shit shaken up. <laughs> and, and your shit is coming up too. It's not just Drake's. It's up to you whether or not you're going to listen to this stuff coming up for you and if you're going to choose to be who you are. If you're going to let go of that identity of, oh, I get the most amount of love, money, sex, validation from these external things and truly embody who your body and spirit has been trying to be, you know who you're supposed to be and you know when you're not that. This is a word out to everyone. If you are preaching health, especially mental health, I'm talking about you, Andrew Huberman, you better show up as a better man and a healthier masculine. Because if you are out of integrity in your private life, I promise you it will leak into your work. And that's for all the listeners out there. It's time to make a change. It's time to embody who we are. It's time to be the best version of ourselves for ourselves, for our families and each other. I love you all. Thank you.